At seven years old, when my sister was born, and as she came into the house, I was made uh, aware of the difference in our genitalia. It shook me. I just thought anyone and everyone could be a mom. I come from a very conservative Muslim family. I identify as trans woman. I came out to my mom and siblings on October 21. I did that on a video call. They said that this is unacceptable. The religion doesn't allow it. I have made a mistake. We probably will not reach out to talk since that day. No one from my family has touched me. If I'm being honest, I knew that that was going to be a reaction much before I self identified as trans. I learned about the word hijra from my mom. Um, it would be because she used to call us her hijra. I mean, amongst other words, and then at some point she would reserve this word for when she was super angry. So, at seven years old, when my sister was born, I was made uh, aware of the difference in our genitalia. And I posed that question to my mom, like, hey, she doesn't have a penis. She just went like, women don't have them, that's why also they can have kids. It was the first time that I felt disconnected with my body because I had already imagined at seven years old that I would eventually be a mother. In my school life, I would display a lot of toxic masculine traits, a lot of aggression, anger. My entire life onwards from my teenage years, I have been quite depressed since I was smoking. It's also the same year I drank alcohol for the first time. By the time I was 18, I knew I'm an alcoholic. When I was pre-puberty, I read this magazine article in Dubai that was about six Iranian trans women and they had uh, chosen to have gender reassignment surgery. It shook me and I was like, oh, there's a way for me to become a woman. But the other part of my brain was like, you can't think about it. This is not something that you get to think about because you are born into this family, you live in this country and this is the religion. And then I kind of closeted that memory of reading that article. In June 2020, I was watching the documentary Disclosure. I was home alone being locked down and midway through I had to stop because I just kind of broke down into tears because this memory started to come rushing back. And me being able to process it, that time I just knew that I'm genderqueer. Me realizing that I'm a trans woman would have been in June 2020. I started to explore that more. I started to explore myself a lot more. That's when I reached out for therapy. And then through therapy, I was able to get to a point of really good friendships and partnerships. So because of all this, from 2020 to 2021, I was able to get to a point where I started therapy, got my gender dysphoria certificate. I faced discrimination, which is homophobia and transphobia. Once at the Mumbai airport, I was waiting at the domestic airport. And at that time, I look up and there's this family sitting just across mom, dad, and daughter and son. They are just staring at me and laughing at me. I intentionally started to build a community for me, a support system for people that I can call family, chosen family around me. After I came out, because I was open about it, my whole journey is on social media, I started getting a lot of validation and support and community coming in from that. So being able to come out meant that I was able to find a community which allowed me to find safety.